<laughs> you know, another train to wake me up. You ain't going nowhere. You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of beat time. They say the car graffiti. Now it's going backwards. Got a return to make at this Walmart right here, but I was sitting next to that woman right there and I had to pick it out of that garbage can. Because <laughs> I accidentally threw it out with my garbage for the day. I don't even know if I can turn things from one Walmart to another Walmart, so we'll find that out today. It's gonna be a while. Alright, easy enough. It's possible. Man, was that power grip a piece of crap. Note to self and anyone else who's listening, just peep it in on my conversation. Don't buy Vivitar things or anything else made in China. I'm going to try and keep it locked and stocked right here in the United States. Because everything made out of plastic is really made out of plastic. And I'm not talking about good plastic. Look at that Toyota Echo. You don't see those much. My uncle has one, but they're, they don't make them anymore. Just got out of Starbucks over there. And here is the Best Buy. The abandoned Best Buy. One more time. This time not through the eyes of a GoPro. This time on the RX. Yep, that's still a waste of power. Wilmington Western Railroad. All trains are sold out. That's still a nice little water holder. What do you call that? A 20 mile track between Wilmington, Delaware and Landberg, Pennsylvania. It was built in 1872. Might be sold out, but it's still a hell of a thing to look at. Old steam power, it looks like. Pretty cool. You see the little stamp there. This is 1908, January. It's over 100 years old. And every time I see one of these guys, I think of the Polar Express. See the conductors in there just chit chatting it up. I like this bench too, made out of old wheels. Solid. And this is how it all works. The back holds all the coal in the water. And the water comes through. You'll see a guy shoveling some coal into here. That coal heats the boiler. The boiler then sends all the hot stuff into here. All the hot gases come in here. Bamity boom. Send all that steam into the piston. And if you need a little bit of grit to get up a hill or it's too slippery, you got some sand to throw down. And the brake man's there to just dig his feet in when you need to stop. You can see he's super excited about it. This is a visitor center now, but it used to be a station house. Back in 1872 it was built. And it looks the same as it did in the 1930s. Where it was moved to its new foundation. Because it was going to be demolished. But then they said, hey, that, 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 that. we'll take that. And here it is being moved. Right next to this guy, which you can see is right there. That water tower. Finally figured out what it's called. And you can see the little spout that'll give it water. Because it needs some 500 gallons. It used to be the Yorkland Station amongst all the other stations that used to be in Delaware. Of those, a bunch of them had different capabilities. Cattle, telegraph. Some of them even had air conditioning. There it is, at its former location. 
1903. Sitting here loud and proud. Looking pretty good next to these good quality tubas. Smoking away like a chimney. Mom would be proud. This will tell you about the old Yorkland Station. Built in 1873. Moved here in 1968. Sitting right next to the old Green Bank Station. The same as it was. That's pretty cool. Started out with three hotels up here and they all burnt down so he converted it into a music bar. A little spring house there, a little brown building there. Uh -huh. That's a spring. The Indians told him the mineral water was good for them, so people would come from all around in the middle 1800s to drink water and bathe in it and everything. We uncovered it last year, but buried about that much under dirt. Oh wow! We're still running. The first weekend we uncovered it, and it was running. The next weekend we come back, all the water evaporated. We had enough of red rust in the bottom. Oh, wow. So much iron. So we had it tested by the State Board of Health and the University of Delaware. They all said, don't drink it. Got too much iron in it. We said, we figured that when all the rust turned out. Yeah, red. yeah. The train goes out on this track here. And the rest of all this track is trolleys. Oh, wow. It comes from Wilmington. <clears throat> goes up over here and up this near Pennsylvania. And all this stuff. Was found in a hole. Yeah, yes, you did. All of it. But all that is all gone now. On top here, we have baseball fields. And we do still have the spring house there, which was found in a hole. Water, drink, oh, bathing. Yeah. We found out that the content is so strong with the lid. You see a teletype here. All this stuff was found in this one when it was abandoned. From this place was a hotel. That circled up. Is that up there? It's a railing. Yeah. <laughs> leaked the water. How could all of this be sold? It's a lot. This one's not original. Tyler, Tyler. This one, when they got to it, was too too far gone, so they had to rebuild it up. All aboard! It's an old Baltimore and Ohio one. No steam coming out of that guy. But battery is about to die, so I have. Excuse me, how can I find platform nine and three quarters? What are you joking with me? Nine and three quarters? Think you're being funny, do you? I wonder what the story is on that. Man, you got it really. Go <laughs> <laughs> all wet from the grass. So what do you do? You're from around here? Yeah, I live down the street. I grew up here, man. Oh, did you? I, I built that, I redid that tower. Oh, wow. I worked on it. Oh, nice. So you do contract? 500 gallon tank. Oh, is that what that is? No. Oh, what's the history on it? Or 500,000. 500,000? Yeah, we got it. We got it, the old, old shit out. I, even that front thing over the door. Yeah. I had to haul that away. I don't know. Thing, I couldn't get under any bridges in the city. Uh -uh. Pain, yeah. James Brown had a concert there. Oh, did he? And uh, Casey and Sunshine Band. And I had a gate. I had a key to the gate that went behind the stage. Yeah. I was backstage. I was like, yeah. <laughs> then they had a Patty the Bell concert here. 
And there was a riot, so they stopped driving. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets right back up. The boss's son got married in there. That's yeah, crazy. Man, it was crazy. <laughs> well, no, it was empty. But it's full of water well, right now? You can see where the stairs went. Yeah, it's got a new tank and it's got stairs back in it. Yeah. All stainless steel, man. It's cool now. See, that clock hasn't been working for a long time. It does have a good quality patina, though. Second thought, I, I think it's actually a sundial. If you can see that thing right there. Holds a half million gallons. Was built somewhere between. 1899 and 1902. Rockford Tower is 53 feet in diameter, 75 feet high to the floor of the observatory, and 115 feet altogether. In the summer, you can actually go all the way up to the top and observe. Pretty good sight over here. Oh, yeah. Put it on the list of things to come back to in the summer. Wow, this thing is huge. It's got to be a hell of a sight from the top. Not as good a sight as the Empire State Building was, though. That was a hell of a sight. I'm telling you what, if you ain't seen that, I mean, it's a bit pricey, but definitely something to see. If the zombies come out, remember, this is the place to be. You got a half a million gallons of water in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> now the sun's come over the hill here. You can actually see the sundial at work here. You can see it's six o'clock. Is that six or is that four? I think that's four. Yeah, 413. Looking back over 100 years ago from this spot. Guy standing on it like, yeah, I'm cool. Damn, it's cold out here. I'm getting closer to you, baby. Virginia Beach, here I come. 